how do you know if you're on a false glide slope when flying an ILS approach? There are three things that I'm gonna look at to make sure that I'm on the correct glide slope. Number one, if you intercept the glide slope from below at the published minimum intercept altitude, then you'll be on the correct glide slope. Number two, I'm gonna make sure my descent rate makes sense considering the glide slope angle. So essentially take your ground speed, compute your descent rate at that glide path angle, make sure that matches what you're actually flying, and that'll give you a good indication that you're on the correct glide slope. And then number three, the outer marker on the procedure or the fix in place of an outer marker will include the glide slope altitude as it crosses through the fix on the profile view of your approach chart. I would compare that altitude to the altitude that you see as you're flying over that fix. Now those two altitudes aren't going to be exact. And that's because your altimeter is gonna be subject to error, right? The biggest one being non-standard temperature. So as you're flying over that fix, you'll find that your altimeter is close to it when you're on the correct glide path, but it may be off up to maybe 100 feet or even more.